What is going on, my stock market bulls and bears? I'm your host, Terry, and welcome to my channel, baby. By the dip, that is right, guys. This is the channel where we say you never marry a stock, you just date it, because we're all about getting those profits and capturing those gains. Now, we're here to talk about Meta today. In a sense, we kind of, as you know, married a stock, and we're kind of in this now. So, as they say in marriage, till death do us part, and that is where we're at here with Meta. So, we had some interesting facts come out today and some interesting news. We're going to go over all the big news. They had a press release today at 1 o'clock. We're going to go over George and his you know, big holdings that he has and what is going on with the stock and just give some big updates about what is going on. So guys, hope you all are ready for today's video. If you are, please smash the thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Check out the Patreon link down below. We are trying to get the premium version of the Fintel website, guys. So I just need a couple people to join up. We'll get the Fintel website on here, and we'll be able to give all the unlocked information on the Fintel website for the channel. So guys, five bucks a month helps out the channel a lot. So guys, let's get to the video. And all right, guys, here we are on metamaterials.com website. And the first thing we're going to cover is George reports his holdings in metamaterials. So... Here is the report. George, the president and director of Meta Materials, formerly Torchlight, today announced he has filed an early warning report, the early warning report under the National Instrument of 62-103, the early warning system and related takeover bid and insider reporting issues, NI 62-103, in connection with the closing of the previously announced business combination involving Meta, Meta Material Exchange Co., and Metamaterial Inc. Pursuant on the business combination, the inquirer acquired beneficial ownership and control or direction of over 28.9 million exchangeable shares in the capital of Canco. The exchangeable shares, with the exchangeable shares being converted into common shares of Meta in accordance of their terms for one-to-one -one basis. Here it says there's 3.2 in options to purchase uh, shares, 7,408 warrants, and here we got 1.7 million of deferred share units with the securities. And there is a lot more information down here, but I think the big part of this article here of George reporting his holdings in Meta is that he is now in control or the direction of over 28.9 million shares. So let's just call it 29 million shares. So that is pretty phenomenal. Let's go back and take a look and what else Meta has updated for us today. All right, then they have here that Meta holds corporate update webcast today at 1 p.m. Let's go and check that out. Here it just says that they are looking to do the webcast today at 1 p.m., which that was, you know, a little bit ago. And if we go back here and look at it here, it says Meta completes the UK funded projects towards developing non-invasive glucose sensing systems. So. Here is the actual article on this, guys. Right here. Meta completes the UK funded project towards developing non invasive glucose sensing system. Here it is. Hub system uses multi wavelength blueprinting to improve accuracy. If we scroll down here and look, it says here that uh, the conclusion of a 27 month long project of a non-invasive glucose sensing prototype, which combined a radio wave of optical sensors to improve accuracy in predicting glucose level changes. The developed biosensing prototype is a critical step towards a home hub system targeting and monitoring biological parameters. The project was supported with about uh, 1.25 million US dollars from Innovate UK, part of UK Research and Innovation, a non-departmental public body funded a grant in aid from UK government. This collaborative effort took place in the UK, involved four partners, Meta via its wholly owned UK subsidiary, Medical Wireless Sensing, the Imagination Factory, and the Virtual Clinic Direct, and Brunel Innovation Center. And here it is. You can almost do this right here at your home. It's kind of like a hub in a sense. And this is pretty much what they've been working on. Now, I don't know if in a sense this is what we were hoping to get, but it is pretty cool technology. Here you can see Meta's Glucose Home Hub. 
product concept with wearable element. You can just wear this, boom, you put it in the device, and there you go, you get your glucose level. So that is pretty cool. I'm not gonna say that, that is pretty cool. So overall, it seemed like the stock today, we were up about 16%. I mean, we hit a high here today of almost $8, showing here $7.95, around $12.35. So I think if I kind of go off what happened here, it was a little bit of buy the rumor, sell the news. Because as you see, at one o'clock, it was at $7.69. People already started to sell this at 12.35 and even at 12.45. And here at one o'clock, it all came out and they just started selling, selling, selling. 145 looked to be kind of close to the bottom at 7.08. And it did hold a support here at the $7 range. And right now we are at $7.06. There is an article out here, guys, that I did want to bring you. Uh, this was just published today about 1.30. The midday meme stock report for 7.6 Meta Materials has Wish, Virgin Galactic, and Clover Health. I kind of wanted to go down here and read over this one part I thought was very interesting. They have here that Meta Materials, get this, guys, this is interesting. Metamaterials traded up more than 17% earlier Tuesday, but shares have dipped to gain around 14% in the noon hour. The stock's 52 range, 52 week range is 42 cents to 21.76. The average daily trading volume is around 16.9 million shares and about 13.7 have been traded hand so far on Tuesday. Keep in mind this article was done at about 130. So to have about 13 million shares trade hands between buying and selling, that's a lot of volume. But I do think there was a lot of this today that was buying the rumor, sell the news kind of deal. But that is the update for today, guys. Um, I'm gonna come out with some more stuff on the dividends and things like that, the preferred shares. There's a couple things out there. We'll say that for a separate video. So make sure you're subscribed to check that out and we should be getting those preferred shares and have those ready in place of when the dividend happens. So guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, consider subscribing, consider joining that Patreon link. We want to get that updated Fintel uh, premium version. And guys, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Oh.